it's Monday morning and we are on a single garage. It is 10 past seven. Go have a look. I remember then. That's fucking pitch black still. <laughs> we need, we probably want two, four, six. I reckon six will do us. Yeah? Yeah, six will do us. Because obviously we're just gonna rack that back there and do finish the back in one go and rack that back there and then we'll do one side then the other and yeah. i think two there two there and two there will be enough and then yeah obviously we'll move so six six boards will be enough I'll ring him up, make sure it is the red one. I don't want to start putting profiles up on it, and even this one. All right, it is 20 past seven. We have all the tools ready on the corners. If you're a Blake user, uh, I'd watch this video because there's some gems I'm about to show you. All right, let's get what you need. So you want one of you, we want one of you. I want to take the holes out because obviously we didn't build these, so. Uh, quickest and easiest way is with a hammer drill and I want this one and then we got a, heart, a brick and a half all right so I've got to do each corner of that all right it's now 25 past seven all the holes are out so let's get one of these blakes set up. We've got all the bits we need. So, blakes are probably one of the best profiles for garages, I find, out of all the profiles I've got. Because they're freestanding. <clears throat> let's get this somewhere near plumb. What I've got here is a white chalk marker. So they basically just... It comes straight back off, so you don't have thousands of marks on there. So we'll just gauge it up. Twenty to eight. We have all four profiles up. What we haven't done yet is gauged it. Now, if someone else has built it, sometimes it's best to just quickly check it for a level. I haven't got my laser level out because with the Blakes, I like to use this magnetic level. What I do is I just put it somewhere at a decent, easy height. I'll turn it on like that. Uh, we'll get it on dot and I'll set the dot to one of the gauge marks like that and then I can just send it over to that profile over there and once it sets I'll just put my mark on there uh, where's my pen gone? I fucking lost my pen now look I've never done with that so many fucking pockets there you go so it's going to transfer onto this one like that so we're good there and then transfer it. You can actually still see that. <laughs> it's still dark enough. Right, transfer it over onto this one. Lovely. And I'll transfer it over to Tom's one. Beautiful. All right, now we have a level. Make sure, you know, it's probably level anyway, but I just. All right. Now we just clamp these on and gauge them up. All right, so here's the mark that I transferred over. I'll just clamp my F clamp on to the same height. Like that, make sure it's bang on, and then we're good to mark it up again. Oh, 
Right. Transfer this one over to there. Right, it's tw 10 to 8, so it took us about 40 minutes to get the tools over and get set up, get gazed up. I'm just going to load it out now. Plenty of water over there? Yeah. Have you spoke to the fork here or not? Yeah, I've got some bricks. Oh, a bit much line there. A bit too much, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, some clamps. Uh, well, if we just get, is there a, is there a pallet anywhere? I don't think that'd be all right. I'll take, I'll risk it for a biscuit. You can tell if they're wet. Just if they, they, that's sort of dry-ish, so that ain't too bad. Right, let's go. Right, set up. So we want the first stack on your corner to be in arm's length from there to there, like that. You don't want them behind you. You don't want them too far that way. You want to be able to stand next to here. So when you pick your first one, that there. And then the next one will be on your corner. Tom, do you want to put one on this corner for me? So you want to be about, about there. Yeah, that'll do that. And then just one evenly in the middle. Unevenly in the middle, just about there. This one a little bit closer. Uh, 15 long times the height, 21, divided by the stacks. One, two, three, three, and then 105 divided by 12, which is a hod. So we've got nine hods on each. Well, we was on a roll, <laughs> and then he brought a pack over, and it's absolutely drenched, all fell apart, but it's, uh, it's now half eight, and probably got another half an hour loading out. This pallet's any better. Now they look a bit better. All right. Looks like we've got half wet, half dry. <laughs> Fuck's sake. This is where sites just leave all the materials just out on site to get fucked. A lot of, I, I was on a garage a while ago and I must have threw about three packs away. I thought, fuck that, I ain't throwing any, uh, I ain't using any wet ones because it makes the work shit. Uh, it dribbles down your face and it just makes the work look fucking shocking. Uh, because I'm loading out, I ain't throwing those away, so I'm mixing and matching them. <laughs> well, that's just turned a half an hour job into an hour job. Um, there's only so much you can do as a person to actually make your job life, your life easy, but there's certain things that are out of your control, like the bricks not being covered. Uh, they've got hundreds of packs just sitting in mud. The, the mud is absolutely soaked up through the bottom. Uh, the least that they should do is find a road to put them on, like a road that ain't being used or something. It's a big site. Uh, and it, it, is, it is a pain in the ass. Fucking pain in the ass. All right, apart from that little setback, Tom's just gone to do two tubs because we're all loaded out now. It's now 25 past nine and we are good to go. Everything's gazed up, plumbed up leveled up uh just gonna get the um cut the buckets of water over top well tom did get some water we've got a bucket each for water because we're both gonna just chuck some muck out uh it's best just to put one one side one the other tom can have the empty one uh, and then we've got our stands and boards we've got six boards Right. 
and most important tool of the day, the radio. Now we're just gonna chuck some bricks in. Me and Tom have got a bucket each. Uh, as you can see, the size is dirty, but don't really matter. We keep our buckets spotless because we don't want fucking sticky mud all day. This is Tom's one. Uh, and I'll have one as well. Right. Uh, what I use all the time, I don't use a brush, I use a sponge. One scoop, plenty of water. Uh, one dip in and you, don't, you hardly waste anything. Here comes the muck. So this was all the bricks wasted. Uh, they're not wasted, but we could, we, we mixed and matched uh, one side dry, one side wet, but two thirds of all the bricks that come over were soaked. So we ended up with more of a, an abundance of uh, wet ones because we couldn't mix them right with the dry. Uh, we ran out of dries and then, I, and you can't just load out a stack of wets because you're fucked. Lovely, lovely. Cheers. Right. Top, top of the, top of the. Uh, I don't bother. I just scoop it in for most of the tub, just to get it out quick. Don't need to fuck about with it. Take all day fucking doing it. Uh. Uh, I usually get about a bucket and a half on each. Right, let's start laying now. I just need some damp first. I'm waiting for some damp to come over. Tom's bringing it over with him. Um, but what I will do is because I've dished quite a bit of muck out, I'll give it a bang out over here. And a quick clean of the bucket. Keeping tools clean is a must, especially buckets. Fucking winds me up when I see a whole carrier of a dirty bucket. I don't think they're any good if they've fucking got a dirty bucket. Why would you make your life hard with a dirty bucket unless you don't know what you're doing? All right, that just stays here till I next need it. Pull the mill back from the front of the face. Done my half, geese. <laughs> Wet one. Oh. Dry one. <laughs> Wet one. Do a wet course first time if you've got wets there. Yeah. Oh, dry ones here, lovely. Uh, there's a face to them as well, Tom, all right? Yeah. Uh, the sharp side goes to the back, yeah? yeah? Well, that's what I think anyway. Looks better. Oh, I had a head start and you're starting that corner on this one. Next one go up from halfway, yeah? Nearly snapped the line. Oh, 
Got it tight for here, boy. Time 10 to uh, 10 to 10. Let's see what we can do, Tom. Let's see what we can do. Let's go for it, boy. Oh, let's get some music on. Heart oh, 80s will do, I think. Do you want a bit of heart 80s? Yeah. yeah, let's go. Right, 10 past 10. We are now just going to check the profile, which it is pretty good. And bang on. So this is the stabiliser, what we'll do is just move this up out of the way a little bit, stick the stabiliser on, put it down to about there and this will just give it, a, uh, from this point to this point, something to not pull over on. Right, it is quarter past 11, we've used two tubs of muck up, Tom's just gone to do another couple of tubs, while he's gone down there. I'm just gonna stack my bricks up. I personally, once I've used the stack up, I like to stack the front ones to the back because as you get higher up, I like to stand a bit further away from the wall. So I'll, let, I'll just literally stack the front, front ones to the back like that. And then I'll move the board back a touch like that. And it's just nice, nice bit of room just to, uh, the same with the front here, look, same with these side ones here. jointed up we're nice and flat as a pancake uh, we're beautifully level uh, we've got another four to go on here it's a bit of a stretch but you know head height from top of my head is there two more so that's two above head height is 21 because we started you know we already had four five courses done up to damp so started low around this side but we're nice and nice and flat and plumb Four more to go.
Bien. Bien, Tom. Uh, no, it's just that one there. That's a bit of a dipper. Chicken dipper, that one. Oh, from that little right. Right. One there. How many gaps we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Sweet. Just put, pick the spare ones up, Tom, and we'll put them on the inside for the uh, piers, yeah? Uh, any more boards? Oh, no. Is there one more around there? Like a glove boy. Profiles off. <laughs> Quick clean. Marks all come off. Lovely jumbly. This small muck out, sweet. Yeah. 
we're gonna leave it at that for the day. Uh, I mean, you can see those wet ones in there, dry ones in there, we've just tried our best to uh, get it done, really. We've left enough, it's 20 to three. It's gonna give it a brush where we can rejoint it where it needs it. Uh, and then we're back here tomorrow, so we'll give it another touch up in the wet places. It'll still be able to touch it up in the wet places. It comes home with a truck, with a van. Look. Yeah, give it a little, we're gonna give it a little touch up because it needs it. They're not a very good looking brick either, to, to be fair. She's lovely and plum, but it's not a very nice looking brick, let's be honest. They're much better looking brick, I think. Them yellows. Let me know what you think of these bricks in the comment section. New broom in the fucking video. It's called Charles, look. It's called the Charles Bentley. It's the Bentley of all brooms, look. Look at that bad boy. It's even got a scraper on it, look. Don't break it. No, I'm smart. I'm not an idiot, Tom. All right? Yeah, I'm not one of these hog carriers that try and brush all the fucking muck up off the floor. Huh? It's just for the, the shit. It's just for the dust, not for the fucking natural muck that's on the floor. All right. We are good to go. My brush can go back in the fucking van and all. That'd be, that'd be off skis, that broom. <laughs> I'm trying to come across the way because any wet patches will smudge up. So what I'm trying to do is go sideways like that. And then I'll touch the beds up. See like there, if you go down, it smudges over. But if you go across the way, you'll just get the lines in the muck. Uh, it's, not, it's not, you know, perfect, but I'm trying to make do with the shit we've got shit that we've got to fucking use because no cunt takes care of the bricks on site and they come by the thousands yeah all right mate wet brick skis all right that is I'm just gonna touch this up and then fuck off home uh, we've left the profiles up that we need up this is a good thing about the bikes because you can get to the corners you ain't got to take them down and they'll be good to go in the morning so it'll be just laying tomorrow nice easy day just laying no loading out lovely Go, go, go. I'll take it. Home time. Just in back for some grub.